YouTube, Topaz Yates back for another daily review and this one is the Ace Hood Father's Day and I didn't get a chance to do a video yesterday man so let me go ahead and shoot out a Happy Father's Day out there to everybody. But so Ace Hood on this track is taking more of a depressing view of the Father's Day holiday and the main reason being is because as he says in his lyrics is that his baby moms took away his kids. Now due to this he's drawing a whole bunch of comparisons from himself to his father which he obviously doesn't like doing that because his father really wasn't there for him coming up as a kid and he doesn't want to be like that. But in the end him not having his kids around especially for Father's Day and such man is definitely haunting him. To go along with things like him reminiscing on his grandmother passing away and then he starts speaking directly to his children trying to tell them that everything's going to be okay and that he's going to be back. Very deep stuff man and you know Ace Hood in the past have definitely proven that he can take very deep concepts and then turn them into terrific songs but yet ultimately didn't do that here. I think his emotions really got the best of him. Like starting with the production being very dry and it almost feels incomplete. It definitely takes away from the track all the way. It just overall comes off as all message and he didn't really focus that hard on making quality music. He just had to get this off of his chest. And overall I'm not mad at that man especially since though during the whole Starvation series and this is going to be a song off Starvation 5 that he has consistently done really great music along these lines so I'm not really tripping about it. Still a track I would say go ahead and peep out but nothing much more than that but this concludes today's review and now we're going to jump into a brief instrumental from underground producer Jackson Yulin before we take some of your questions. the whole freshman class that just dropped and that the people that I listed on my list was whack. Which spoken like somebody who didn't even listen to anybody. But also he kind of completely discredited himself when he said Jehovah was the best. This just ultimately goes into what I've been telling people man. You have to work at having a good ear for music. That's not something that you were just born with. A lot of people are just listening to whatever's around them or whatever's the most popular thing at the time. And then they come out and say super erroneous things like this guy said man and it's really sad when you think about it and Sean says that he agrees that the West Coast music is very difficult to emulate and it's facts man I mean cuz I've seen people from the south do really good Midwest music like take Ritz for example he comes off as the same bloodline as Twister and he's definitely doing that Midwest music really well even though he's from outskirts of Atlanta like take ASAP Rocky he's definitely from New York but the bloodline of his music goes more through the south and yet he does it on a solid level. I have yet to come across anybody else who's been able to do straight up West Coast music from anywhere else except for maybe Tupac. That's like the only person. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there and you can go to DownloadPads.com that's down there to read today's article.